I'm thinking of putting some totem poles in the back here just to make it one bigger feature. Draw your eye. And the technique we're going to use is interesting and it's fun to learn. So I cut a hardwood sleeper in half, and I've got another one here that's 1,600 mil long. Now, it's important when you're doing this particular sculpture, you don't use any form of treated pine, because I'm going to burn the surface. Now, if you remember way back, I did a sculpture out of bike cogs. It was one of the most successful and popular things I ever did. So I've raided the shed, I had a few left over, and all I'm going to do is place them out and burn the timber leaving a silhouette where the cogs were, creating a beautiful sculpture that will sit just behind my new bench. If you don't have enough, don't worry. You could burn up here, and then when they cool down, reuse them down there. So that's been going for a couple of minutes, and you can see where I've started. I've gone quite heavy. It's blacked out. I'm a little bit lighter up here, and you can see a bit more of the grain of the timber. I can contrast between the two, is a nice, subtle difference. And this little beauty that's doing the damage, you can buy as a kit with the lid on top, and you can just buy replaceable bottles. To knock this over has taken me about 15 minutes. The clouds and the rain haven't been kind, so I reckon I could have done it in 10. And I've used only the one cartridge, so the second one might be uh, for another job one day. Once you peel them off and you look at it like that, you can start to see what it's going to look like. The silhouette looks fantastic, and I love it when there's a little bit of separation between it, and you can see the continuation over each of the sleepers. Now, in the ground, a couple inches apart, it looks spectacular. The three different heights give it another point of interest. And sitting behind that little bench we knocked up earlier, it's like a mini makeover. <laughs>